Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by again. We are out here with the Multi-Joy Spaniel Fat Tire E-Bike again. We have got some miles on it. We got a video coming up on our, you know, our pros and cons, likes and dislikes. But in the meantime, we're putting a few accessories on this that makes our riding a little more enjoyable. Like you've might've seen with some of our other e-bike videos, we changed the seat right away. They're never comfortable enough. There's no suspension there. So we got a nice wide saddle we're gonna put on there and the suspension seat post which will give us a little bit of cushion back there. For being a mountain bike, you kind of want that rear suspension as well as the front. So it's nice for the off-road rides. And we also got a mirror, a cell phone holder, and that's the accessories we're gonna put on. Plus we're gonna show you a couple items you should carry with you, you know, that uh, you, know, you might need along the trail. So with that being said, let's get over here. I will show you what we're gonna put on this bike today. All right, guys, the first thing we wanna show you is the wide Saddle by Schwinn. This is the Super Breeze Cruise. Uh, this is one of the widest ones you can get. It's got a nice foam uh, padding, but it'd be nice if it was gel like some of the other ones, but like the Cloud Nines. But this is a nice wide one. We're going to give this one a try this time. Over here, of course, we're putting on the suspension seat post. This is like a budget suspension seat post. We have it on all our other bikes. Plus, a bunch of friends of ours have gotten this one as well. Everybody loves it. There has been no issues with anybody. And this one comes with a shim because of the size we had to get. So make sure you measure the size of your post that has to go down in your bike before you order. They have all the different ones you're going to need. And we have the phone holder here. We chose this kind because the handlebars aren't that wide, so there's not a lot of room on there. Plus this one all, it's, you know, waterproof. It holds stuff in the bottom. You can open this up. Your stuff, you can put your wallet in there, some cash, some keys, whatever. That's kind of pretty cool. And it has, you see this little rain cover for it protected even more so that's pretty nice to have we're going to try that out we haven't had one of those yet and of course we're getting a bike mirror on there you don't realize how much you need it until you don't have it but this one does goes vertically and horizontally when you mount it, it goes in the end of the handlebars pretty awesome comes with the tool to put it on uh, some of the things that you want to carry with you these aren't the accessories this is just things you should carry with you of course a first aid kit just a small one because along the way you might get scrapes and from briars or chains or you might fall off and you've got a scrape. This is a nice one to carry around. This one here is a flat repair kit. You want to be able to repair your tires. Chain lube for your bike chain. I mean you don't have to necessarily carry that around with you but it depends how long you're on a trip for with your bike. And then this thing here which has a bunch of stuff in it. It comes as a kit. It has like the tool kit. It has a pump. We're going to open this up and show you what's inside this thing if you can get it open with a catch point okay you got it open there just a little stuck on the zipper here's the tool you get it has all the connections you're going to need to like to help you chain uh, fix the chain to mount stuff to tighten things up it's all right here pretty complete kit right there and then uh we'll just set these out for you guys this is another part of the flat repair kit. This one came in this one. I bought the other one separate with some different patches. So that's nice. That's where this kit was complete. We'll leave links to all this stuff down below, guys, if you're interested. Uh, they are affiliate links. They help the channel out. Appreciate that support. Uh, this here is a pump that comes in this kit. So you, you can mount it on your bike if you like. We just leave it in there. But it'll help you pump up the tire after you repair it. That's the adapter for that, for the pump. What else we got in there? I put this one in there. This is just from Harbor Freight, another little, it's got the ball head Allen keys. Sometimes that's easier to get into some of the spots. What else we got? A little, that's like a multi nut wrench for certain things. That comes in the kit too, I believe. Haven't had to use that yet. And a couple other small things I keep in there, like uh, this here is the sprocket wrench, or for the, not the sprocket, the uh, spokes of the wheel that's the wrench for that and then i also have the other rubbers for the other cell phone holders on my other bike so that's pretty much what's in that kit those are a few things you want to carry i'm sure you'll find others we carry them in a pannier bag which i don't have here it's on my other bike but i'll leave a link to it up here in the corner just check that out it's a pretty complete bag for a little bit of cost so can't complain about that and this tool here we just purchased this the other day because we got to replace the pads on one of our bikes uh this is just the park tool Five, I think this is five millimeter. Yep, five millimeter uh, ball head uh, Allen. It works really nice. So we got that also. But with that being said, guys, as you see this, we're going to mount these four accessories, the, the seat, the suspension, the mirror, and the uh, phone holder. But we're going to start with the seat first. Pretty simple thing to do. So let's go over here and do that. 
All right, the first thing we're going to do for our saddle is we took the packaging off. Uh, this has a different kind of mount than our suspension seat post take. This has more of the clamp type that's going to clamp across these two bars. So we're going to take this off. We don't need this piece. 916 trench takes this right off. We're going to pull it off here. You can set that aside for later use or something. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to shove everything on here. Maybe. We'll figure it out. A square hole, you know, that square hole round thing. But anyway, just put these back on. Just enough to hold it there. Set that aside. Then you gotta make sure your orientation of your post is right when you have it sitting on the bike. It's gonna go down in the bike at a little bit of an angle. So you wanna make sure you have it right. It's gonna sit on here like this. And this one is adjustable. We're just gonna loosen these and then this will unsandwich that. Let's see if that T-wrench fits. Oh, perfect. Look at that. See? Bought this for the brakes, but it fits a lot of stuff on this bike. Well, all the e-bikes got like a lot of five millimeters. It's like a 10 millimeter when you're working on a car. It's like that wrench you can never find, it's always missing. On this, it's five millimeter Allen. So we got it loose and it's adjustable. You can see the ridges there. So you can adjust the angle of the seat to what fits you comfortably. I'm gonna try to get it on without having to take that off. It don't look much possible, but you never know. Is that right? That's right. Double check, right? There we go. We've got it on there. Now you just start to tighten it. You're not gonna know your angle yet until you put it in the bike. And we'll adjust the angle and tighten these down. So let's, let's go over here, get an idea on this bike. On um, this multi-joy has the quick release there. You can see the quick release. We're just gonna pull this right out. Take this one right off, set it aside. And then we're gonna check our angle. This is where your, your um, shim comes in just set your shim in there put your seat down in there then you could see if your angle that looks pretty good actually that angle looks good so we're going to keep that angle let's tighten this down so we're going to go with that angle and it does you can slide it on here a little bit if you need it to go forward or backwards if you need to be closer to the wheel or some or the handlebars you could do that like i said this for cost benefit, this here is the cheapest thing you could do to give you a more comfortable ride. I've, out of shoot, how many bikes we've done now? Like eight, and we put these on almost every one of them. Of course, you can adjust your height where you need it. We're gonna bottom it out right now, and we'll adjust that later. Oh, we gotta tighten that a little bit. There we go. Look at that. I like it. Okay, next, what should we put on next? Maybe the cell phone holder? All right, our, our phone holder is gonna go right here on the front of this frame. Uh, you can see it's got the Velcros here. You tighten it up to, and it fits multiple size frames, but we're gonna fit ours here. Hopefully it'll tighten down pretty good. Uh, we're going to take this bottle holder off, and there's a reason for that, which we're going to share with you guys in the next video. So we'll give you the reason why we're taking this one off. So make sure you stay tuned for that video so you know why we're taking this one off, this bottle holder. A couple different reasons, but uh, we'll show you that in the next one. It is almost off. This is a four millimeter Allen. In case you're wondering, this is that tool that came in that kit that we're using. Works great, has most of the sizes you're gonna need. Okay, this is where this is gonna sit. We're gonna end up mounting it right here. So, 
got to undo all these Velcros so you're ready to uh, put it on the bike. Like I said, it goes to a pretty big size frame, so you pick what size you need. You could trim it if you like, if it's going to stay on this bike. Here we go. pretty easy again it's velcro there's one at the end here for you around the neck which should keep this thing centered all right and then we're gonna put our last one on here again comes through around to this side all right or am I going oh, the wrong way come around this side you guys can't see it you just come through the loop and velcro back to itself just like that see this is where you might want to trim it because you have extra I'm not trimming it you never know if I might put on another bike. So I have it there. And as you can see here on the front, I put it around the cables too. It helps hold my cables up a little better. Got to like that. So look at that. That's pretty good. It's, it's pretty solid there. And let me see. Where's my phone? In my pocket. But you can see that would fit in there perfectly. It does up to a 7-inch phone. So mine would fit right in there. You just open it up. And it slides right in the top here. Show you guys that. Just set your phone in. Again, this Velcro holds it in there nice. All right, our GoPro overheated, you know how the GoPros are. But uh, we have it in there, the Velcro holds it nicely in there and it's closed inside. And it is, it is you can touch it through there. You can see it just came on. So it touches through there. What's cool inside, you have a little basket things, hold some keys, wallet, cash. It's, it's pretty nice, especially if you're wearing some kind of shorts or something. And then overall, like if you get caught in the rain, put the bright bonnet on there, give it a little bit more waterproof. So kind of cool. So we're giving that one a try. I think I might buy this for the other bike. The bike, because the handlebars make bounces so much. Look at that, that's pretty good. All right, now next we're gonna go to the mirror here on the handlebars. You can see here, we got the kind that goes in the end of the handlebars, and then it expands with the Allen key, because uh, there's no room here on the, this for the mirror. So we're going to put this kind in. It's a smaller hole than you're going to need, so you could drill that out, cut it out. I'm just going to do an X, so I can shove that in there, um, just to make it easier for myself. So let me do that. Be careful if you're using the blade. Like they say, don't be, don't get buddy. Cut towards your buddy. I think my son told me that he learned that from somewhere. But see if we can get in. Oh, it's gonna be hard to get in there. Still, even like that, it's a tight fit. I know. So that didn't work for us. So let's uh. I don't know, let's uh, drill that hole out a little bigger or we'll take the take the hand guard off. It might be a little easier to get it on trying to shove it in there because this here you can see when you try to shove it down, how it spreads. That's not letting us put it in the hole very easily. So let's take this off and then we'll try to put this in. All right guys, I took this off just to make it easier for me to cut the end. I'm gonna shove that back on. As you can see, it's just a rude, it's kind of a rude cut there. I just used the utility knife to make it big enough. This is, it fits in there perfectly little tightness boom look at that now what we're gonna do is we're just going to use our allen key to tighten that and it came with that tool so let me grab that real quick right here is the tool it came with to tighten it so that's what we're gonna do just tighten it and as you tighten it, it it spreads those uh, wings out inside then it'll grip side grip the inside of the bars it's kind of a cool, cool little mirror. Oh yeah, that's tight. Look at that, man. And look, what's cool about this mirror too, this one has the blue tin I chose on this one, but you can, you can put that vertically or horizontal. It's got all kinds of adjustments. And on the back side here, again, with the same Allen key, you could tighten how tight that is. So if you get it in your favorite position, just tighten it down, then this won't move that much. So pretty nice. 
Well, there you have it, guys. A few accessories to make your riding experience a little bit better, especially this suspension seat. I'm so excited about this thing right here. And this phone holder looks good on here. Like I said, I'll tell you why we took this off in the next video. That's going to be our pros and cons video. Uh, the mirror is going to be helpful. You don't realize that you need it till you're riding around, right? Um, but that was pretty easy. Cheap, easy upgrades just to make your riding experience better. And like I said, don't forget those few accessories you can carry with you just to make your trip a little safer also. Safer also. Uh, with that being said, guys, I want to thank you guys for the support. Thanks for watching. And until next time, try something new. Hey guys, we got a special deal for you. If you guys are interested in these multi-joy spaniel back tire e-bikes, check a look down below. We got a coupon code for you, save you $400 off one of these. The thing is awesome. So check that code out, get yourself one. Go for your ride, let us know what you think down below. Okay.